got a couple of things for you today, including the new Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche, Bouche lipstick and Lorac Nude Necessities. I guess you actually say it Lorac because it's Carol spelled backwards, but Lorac is just easier for me to say. I don't know. So if you don't already know, I'm the biggest nude makeup fan alive. Um, nude cheeks, nude lips, nude eyes. I love all of it. I don't know what it is. It's just sort of the no makeup look. No makeup makeup look. I love that. So I had to pick up the new Lorac Nude Necessities palette. Now it is a really light palette. It is a really light nudes palette. There are no deep nudes at all in this one. Here it is. Comes with a nice big mirror, but here it is in all of its glory. Now on camera they are not reading as very different at, at all from each other and this is overall an extremely light colored palette so you're not going to get a lot of definition and a whole lot of contrast out of this baby so it says on the packaging that it's arranged in rows so this is one row that's meant to go together the middle is another and then the bottom is another this row here is kind of peachy or pinky the middle row is very taupe neutral and then the bottom row here or I guess the top row as you turn the palette the right way around is very yellowy goldy. I have on today the middle row basically with one from here as my highlight. Now this is just like I said an extremely light nude palette. It is the lightest nude palette I've ever seen. Usually they'll on a nude palette they'll throw in a few darks, two three dark colors that you can put in the corner for accent and use for eyeliner. There's nothing like that on this one. It is just straight up 100% light colors. Now I'm really enjoying right now doing for spring basically a really nude eye, a really light colored eye. I feel like it's very springy, very fresh, and very youthening looking and very brightening looking. So that's why I grabbed this palette. I'm really feeling very nude for spring and I'm feeling like if I lighten up my eye makeup more then I will look younger and more fresh and bright. That's why I picked this one up. This is a mixture of mattes and I would say shimmers, not really glitters, not chunky glitters. Very soft all of these, all of these textures. Very soft because that's what Lorac does. Lorac does some fantastic soft eyeshadows. Now it's not the super creamy, super smooth feel on a lot of these that you might get from say the Mega Pro palette or some of their other Lorac palettes but they're nicely pigmented and they're very soft. They blend very easily. However, I just don't know if there's enough difference in the colors for you to get a nice crease color, a nice definition on the side color. It's just, they're just very close. Today I used mainly this middle row here with a highlight from here upon my brow bone and then these were so light I couldn't really get a crease color out of them so I went back and used this. This is the deepest color in this palette. I mean that is the deepest color in this palette. So I used that in the corner and in my crease to try to get any kind of anything that's going to show up especially on camera at all. And you definitely, if you're going to try this on at all, you definitely have to try it on with an eyeshadow primer. If you try it on just the back of your hand or something, just swatching it, there's going to be, nothing's going to show up really. So I do love my nude eye. I do really like an all light palette like this. If you really like nudes, then this is a good palette for you. If you really like light nudes, you have to like light nudes to get this palette. You can't need any kind of super definition or anything like that. If you like really natural, super natural eyes, then this is a good palette for you. I don't know if I'm particularly sold on it though because there just is not a lot of definition here. There's just, there's not really any definition here. On my pale skin, I think that may be part of the problem is that I'm so pale, I don't think a lot of these are giving me any kind of any kind of color definition. I think on someone a little bit more medium or deeper it's going to show a lot prettier I think. So even for someone who loves nudes the palette's a little bit iffy. Quality is fantastic of course but for $30 it's a little iffy. Next I wanted to share with you my experience with the YSL Pop Water um, line particularly the Plump Up. This is a glossy stain and they call it the Plump Up from the Pop Water line. This the Plump Up by itself is a separate product from the Pop Water, the colored versions. This one is just sort of a very light 
peach with a tiny hint of glimmer to it. It really has no color whatsoever when you put it on. This one is touted as a plumping product. It has a lovely smell when you put it on and it is extremely liquidy glossy. Here it is on the back of my hand. You can see there's not a color there. There's not really even any glitter once you get it on your hand. It's just a clear gloss and it's supposed to plump you a little bit. So I've worn this a few times. And when you put it on, it does not have that intense mint smell or feel that a lot of the plumping glosses have that I absolutely hate because it can start to just burn. You can be like, okay, I gotta get this off. It has a very, very faint, minty, plumpy smell or and taste to it. Very, very light, not intense plumping feeling at all. As far as plumping, I don't see that it really is very dramatic at all, but you know, it plumps you about like any other clear gloss would. Any other clear, sort of shiny, liquidy gloss would plump you. Nothing extreme, and I don't think that it's because it's not, you know, intensely minty or intensely strong feeling. I just don't think that it gives a whole lot of plumping. Okay, very excited about this new line from Bite Beauty, the Amuse Bouche. Bouche. Amuse Bouche. I think Bouche means lips or mouth, something like that. Anyway, they've got a new line coming out, and it actually hits Sephora, the Sephora by me tomorrow. I'm gonna go and get one tomorrow, but I have a sample of one right here. This color is called Radish. It is a bright magenta. So they smell citrusy, lemony, and they're very smooth. So that's a high pigment, one swipe, shiny color right there. I'll put it on my lips. It feels nice on. It's a smooth, high pigment lipstick for sure. So radish, um, brighter than I'd ever wear, but nice to have a sample so I can feel the texture of it in the formula. Wow, it is definitely one swipe. You don't need to reapply. You don't need to go back and, and go over this 15 times. Next video, I'm going to have um, a sample of the Amore Pacific Cushion Foundation for you and a Bobbi Brown Nude on Nude Eye Palette. Also, about to receive my ColourPop order. I'm excited about that. I love my ColourPop. Lots of good things coming up, especially with the new spring makeup coming out. See you next time.